and I'm pretty sure they're trying to beat him to death with a baguette, which is less effective than you might commonly think it would be. Good morning, everyone. Dave from The Way Hours here today playing Fantasy Zoo, where we're going to build a zoo. That will come as no surprise to anyone, but instead of elephants and giraffes, we're going to be stocking it with things like dragons and orcs and all sorts of fantasy creatures like that. Now, this is available out now on Steam in Early Access, but what we're looking at right now is just a demo of it, which you can also go take a look at. I've left a link to the Steam page down below, so if you want to go do this demo yourself, go ahead and do that. As is very typical of these kinds of things, I have done nothing with this except fire it up and hit record. What you are looking at right now is exactly as far as I've got in the game, so this will be as much a surprise to me as it will anyone else. But let's check out some Fantasy Zoo. Now, given what I'm seeing on the Steam page, I'm expecting this to be extremely bare bones right now. I don't think there's going to be a heck of a lot for us to do. And indeed, there seems to be no tutorial of any kind. We're just thrown in and said, have fun, kid. Go nuts. Build a fantasy zoo. We do seem to have an obscene amount of money. I'm not sure why we're even bothering to start a zoo. We have 100 million gold. Is that a billion? Or is that a thousand million? I think it's a thousand million. Anyway, we've got like more money than anyone ever needs in the history of everything. And I've got a bunch of things to click. So how about we start with, I don't know, enclosures? Nope, that's not going to do a darn thing. Well, I found the animals, so that's a good start. It was right here under animals. And I found the griffin. He costs a thousand. He eats corpses, which is fun. I, I'm not sure where we're getting those corpses, possibly from our guests. Drinks water, runs around, strength of nine, pretty aggressive, likes to be in a forest, and likes to sleep in the shade. Now, some of these I've got info on, some of them I do not. So the giant terrifying murder spider here I there's nothing to click on there I'm clicking my little heart out and there's nothing there how about the skeleton dude nope no info there nothing on this guy nope nothing at all zombie okay we can get zombie also eats corpses I, I that I figured I've seen enough zombie movies in my time likes to fight strength of eight likes to be in a graveyard all right let's see if we can start out with some very very simple stuff how about we just put up a wall like a wall of anything at all. Let's see if we can get this going here. So if I wanted to, can we rotate that? Yep, we can rotate it a little bit. What if we put this, I don't know, like over here? Can I draw it out? I sure can. Okay. Now, get, oh, oh, I can draw it like that. Oh, even better. Oh, I like that. That's not bad. How about we built that and then like that to that? Can I get that to link up like there? Okay. Now, how about a gate for this kind of thing? Put a gate right there. All right, we've made an enclosure of some sort. Can I put an animal in it? Preferably one that I know something about, like, say, the griffin. Uh, can't get any of the... Oh, we can get a finx. Not a sphinx, a finx. It's a completely different thing. How about a... It, it's a rat. Okay, game, I'm going to tell you right now, rats are not a fantasy creature. We've had them for a very, very long time. Let's start out with something fun. Let's do a griffin. Okay, we've got a griffin in there. A griffin exists in our zoo. We probably need to hire someone to take care of you. Can I do that up in workers? Worker count zero. No, I'm aware of that. I haven't gotten to the bit where I hire anyone. How about staff? All right, a staff. Oh, we we hire goblins. Oh, that's fun. All right, uh, you're in charge of the griffin, Sparky. Now, toys and food. There's a food corpse. Well, we know you eat that, so I'm going to put a food corpse in there. What is this? A hay trough. Pond? Yeah, you should probably have somewhere to drink water from. Put that in there. Sleeping spot. Right. Oh, so that it will be shade. Okay, we know that these guys want to sleep in the shade. An undead crystal. Don't know what that does. Let's put a, a sleeping spot, say, over here. Now, can we decorate it a little bit? Terrain. All right, I could get some, you know, like basic grass going on in here. Can I box this out like that? Does that work? Yeah, there we go. Okay, that looks fun. If I were a griffin, I wouldn't completely hate that. How about decorative things like trees or something like that? Environment. There we go. Right there. All right, you're a griffin. You're getting... You want You want to be in the shade anyway. So I'm going to give you some palm trees over by your sleeping spot. Maybe you want a nice rock to... I don't know. I don't know what it is you do with a rock. Sleep on it or something. There you go. Nice big rock. And you can have one of these fun desert ruins arch things looks like you should have one of those in fact put a few more of those up that looks like totally something a griffin would have kicking around okay 
I've created one thing. I've still got an obscene amount of money. If I unpause this, what happens? That guy starts wandering around. Can I do something with you? You're wandering. All right. Do you want to go feed the griffin? Uh, apparently, there's a thousand corpses in there. Wow. Oh, hang on, hang on. I think we got guests. Um, we, we Hang on, we got people. Throw it into pause mode for a second there. Uh, terrain. How about like a, a path of some sort? What is this? A desert? No, I'm looking for like a path where we would, where people would go places. I haven't found the paths yet, but I found the outhouses and I think that's very important. I'm also going to put up like a bench over here. That seems fine. Maybe I can just make... Making an, a path out of an environment thing. Actually, there's way more. Oh, I didn't see any of these. Yeah. Yeah, I got stuck on desert and that was it. Oh, there's nicer trees. No, that doesn't work with the palm trees. He's getting palm trees. What's in miscellaneous? Some flowers. Nice spiked wall there. Okay, maybe I can make a path out of the terrain. So what if we did... Oh, there we go. White stone path. All right, I want this to go right by the griffin enclosure. Like that. And then it can come out, uh, rotate the camera around a little bit here so I can see what kind of what I'm doing. There's a path here. Okay, come on, get that in there. And then that can go from there to there. Now, are the guests actually going to use that? Let's find out. Oh yeah, they're loving the path. They're all about the path. They looked at the path and said, yep, this is the path for me. I'm gonna actually make that go here. Uh, and here, just in case the goblin dude needs that. He seems to be active now. Are you just now you're still just wandering around. I don't know what it is you do around here, Chief. You look fun though. So are you guys like into this? Alright, your happiness is going down, your hunger, your thirst, it's all ticking down. Uh your toilet is going down. I I built some outhouses. I've attended to your need in that department. Well, how about guests? And then shops. What is this? A bread stall, a drink stall, and a tavern. Oh, fun. Uh, let's do one of each of these, like right as you come in. Also manned by goblins. That is, no, no, put it, put it in there. Man, put it, put it in there. Put it, put it in there. No, put it, put it there. Why won't you put it there? All right, try a drink stall then. Okay, it's pretty happy with the drink stall. I'm going to try the food one again and maybe just it can't sit right on the path. Yeah, all right, so it was like right to the edge of the path and it didn't like that one bit. That's unfortunate because I liked that one bit. All right, well, let's uh, pretty that up a little bit there. Uh, what was that? Terrain. How about, what is this? A graveyard. Cool. Volcanic lava. Neat. Brownstone path. Oh, the griffin's doing things. He's running around. He's, um, he's running, he's running, kind of like a kitty, just sort of sits for a bit and then runs around like a maniac and then starts all over again, really. Okay, we definitely need some more stuff for these guys to do. So how about we took the path out sort of this way, like this, and then spin that around for me. So I want to do another path like this, and then we're going to do another enclosure kind of in here. So go over to walls. Uh, oh, this looks fun, and uh, that's an iron gate, but we must have an iron fence, right? We don't have an iron fence. That's unfortunate. Okay, uh, stone wall then, because it's time we got some zombies around the place, I think. Nice big iron gate right there. Okay, I like, I like this already. Go back to environment. No, go back to terrain. Where was the graveyard one? Yeah, there we go. Graveyard, like that. Oh, it's looking good already. Okay, go to environment. Give me give me all my graveyard things. Yeah, we're just going to build a cemetery. We're just going to build a cemetery for zombies. Uh, that, that. I'm going to make this kind of free form here. Uh, one of these, like, right in the middle. A bunch of horrible, horrible glowing mushrooms that probably kill you. And then, obviously, just destroyed, wrecked, haunted trees. Oh, oh yeah, this is good. I don't mind this at all. And then over in the forest section, we got some nice big rocks that kind of fit in here too. Uh, maybe like one or two like not completely destroyed trees like that and maybe over in the corner there. Okay, show me please some zombies. Zombie. All right, 150 each. No big deal. No problem. Put a bunch of them in. Oh, zombie apocalypse 
on display for our guests right here. Here we go. Uh, you guys probably need some food, right? Yeah, you eat corpses. Of course you do. I don't know what the undead crystal does, but I've got undead. I feel they should have a crystal of some sort. Can I zoom in on these guys? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is okay. I don't mind this. This is very bare bones, but I like the way this is going. Ah, oh, and they're all into it too. They're all checking out the zombies. Look, you're looking at a zombie. You're extremely hungry and thirsty, but you're checking out the zombie. You're okay with that. Oh, yeah. How about a tavern for you guys? What if we did one of those? Uh, where is your, where's your front? Like right that. Okay, and there. Uh, I don't actually love that here because it kind of obscures me looking at things and you know that's pretty important so get out of this and go back to the terrain get me my path again and then this is going to go we'll just run it all the way to the end there we go and like that now go back to my tavern and i'd like to see that sitting sort of right about here ish yeah that works wow i have an obscene amount of money oh they're all eating oh they're all feast oh they're all feasting on the corpse thing they're just having a zombie feeding frenzy over here. You guys probably need another one of those, don't you? Um, I also didn't check. Do you guys do you guys drink water? Show me the animals thing again. Do you do that? No, you don't drink water. Okay, great. Then I don't need any of that nonsense. Um, what are you? You're the you're the Finx, not the Sphinx. The Finx. You're very fun, but I probably shouldn't put you in with the zombies. You're some sort of I can't click on you, but you're some sort of like weird treon thing. You're clearly a skeleton, and I can't even. Yeah, no. I believe if again if I'm reading the Steam page correctly, in the demo version, there's a limited number of animals that you can have. There's a limited number clearly in general, but the fact that I can't place these guys at all, I think the demo is even more limited. Well, in that case, I may as well just build what I can, and I can get that Fink guy in here. What, what do I think he needs? A wooden wall? He'll probably, I'm going to imagine, break out of this and destroy everyone, but that could be fun. So let's get that to live. How about a nice big environment for him? And then this could go over like, come here, this. Okay, cool. Uh, while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to throw a few more goblins on staff. I'm not 100% what it is they do around here, but it seems we should have a bunch of those. I should also, I'm going to come back to the enclosure in a sec. I should also put up uh, some more like toilets and benches and that kind of thing. So how about a couple of benches right by the zombies? Because it's going to, what, what, why not right by the zombies? No, right by, right, right by the, put, put it. Put it here. There we go. There's one up there. All right. So you stumble out of the tavern. You've had a few too many. You've got at least somewhere to crash. It does seem to be a little bit fussy. I don't know if it's because there's somebody standing right there. So like when you guys leave, you get out of my way. Get out of my way. Can I put one now? Okay. Yeah, it was just that they were standing in the way. Well, that's going to be a problem because there's a lot of people standing in the way here. Oh, I've accidentally put a bench in with the zombies. That's fine. They probably need somewhere to sit too. Oh, they're just going nuts with the food. All right, back to my enclosure. And obviously for the Finx slash Sphinx, this should clearly be deserty. All right, so environment, uh, yeah, environment, desert. Well, I kind of did a lot of that with this guy, but I'm going to put some more up anyway. So you can have a few rocks here. I don't know, I wonder how this affects their overall happiness. You know, what with them having a chance to riot, break out, and kill people. Because that's apparently a thing. Uh, let's do... What else could you use? How about volcanic? Oh, yeah, some nice big volcanic rocks. I like that. And some burned trees. Oh, you're going to do fine over here. Uh, another big rock over there. What's in miscellaneous? Flowers. Okay, so it's completely destroyed, but there's a nice pot of flowers over there. And you live right there. Now, you don't drink anything, and of course, you want corpses, because we all do. Hey, who doesn't, I say. Uh, so, toys and food, you need a corpse thingamajiggy over there. There you go. You don't, you don't do much, do you? Do you just stand there and give riddles out to people? Oh, you look cool, though. Oh, you're all right. For bare bones, you look pretty cool. I like the way you move like that. You're a weird little thing. Okay, well, what? Oh, sleeping spots. I never... Do the zombies need to sleep? Do you need to sleep? Who needs to sleep around here? What do you do? You, uh, do not... Do you do not sleep? Ooh, you're very str strong, and you're extremely aggressive. Oh, you guys are all toast. You know what? I'm gonna put another one in. I'm gonna put another one in. Let's have two of those. Uh, how about the zombies? Do the zombies sleep? 
Uh, apparently, uh, sleeping place none. Okay, and you are sleeping place none. All right, so it's only the uh, the Griffin over here who needs a place to crash out. Uh, they're out. They're out. They've escaped. They've escaped. They just busted right through this. They're out. Um, how do we do deal with this? They, they wait. They have thoughts. What are their thoughts? Their thoughts are zero. I'm not surprised. Uh, goblins, goblins. You want to wait? Hang on. Hang on. Go back to that. Can I rename you? Oh, I can rename you. Oh, hang on. Yeah, I know they're murdering people, but I just found out you can rename them. So you're Ted now for no reason. Uh, yeah, they're running away, screaming. Everything's horrible. I This was poorly planned. They're, this is all going to end badly. How do we... You, can I make you do something? Can you, like, capture these guys? Because that would be my preferred way that we deal with this nonsense, is that uh, less people are dying... Uh, it's not really working out, though. The goblins are just kind of wandering around. They're like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, these, these guys don't eat goblins, so we don't really care. Uh, yeah, you're totally dead over there. Oh, wait, I think they did just take out a goblin. Wait, I think the goblins are doing something. Oh, the go- yeah, okay, the goblins are trying to, like, corral them. Oh, cool, well, I'll give you some more goblins, then. That seems to be working out. Put a few more of you guys down. I got plenty of money. It's not like I'm shy of money here. I can give you an army of goblins. Oh, we just killed it. Oh dear. Well, that wasn't very nice. On the plus side, they took the corpse and put it over in the zombie feeding trough. So that part was pretty good. Alright, I've completely misjudged um, how strong Finxes are. I didn't really, I kind of saw that one coming, if I'm honest. How about just one Finx? Maybe it's because they were like buddies or something. They're like, yeah, we're going to break out of here. Uh, but if there's only one, maybe he will be disinclined to do that. I doubt it. I, I think everyone in this park is complete toast at this point. I should put up, I think, some more food things for people. I don't think people have enough things to eat around here. There's one more bread thing and one more water thing. All right, now what? And the, the now what is, I don't actually know that there's much else to do. I think we've kind of reached the limits. I just want to go through the animals one more time, make sure there's nothing else. Okay, so I can have a griffin, I can have a finx, I could have a rat. Okay, we'll put up a rat enclosure. No, nope, hang on, they're out again. He's out again. Yep, he's out. The goblins are in trying to deal with this nonsense. All right, I need something wicked beefy for you. You are just piling. To, I'm uh, just, just as a heads up goblins. I know this is a bit of a chore. I'm going to... Oh, they killed a goblin. I'm going to replace the Finks with a rat, because the Finks thing doesn't seem to be working out, and I'm pretty sure they're trying to beat him to death with a baguette, which is less effective than you might commonly think it would be. All right, now it's saying that the rats want to be in the graveyard. I totally understand that, so I'm going to put one in the graveyard just to see if they're aggro on each other. This is just a social experiment to see if zombies hate rats or rats hate zombies and see if they'll go at each other. The rest of them I'm going to put in here because they're apparently very, very unaggressive and they're not very strong to begin with. They are giant rats, which I suppose does play to the fantasy theme. They're not regular sized rats. They're more like mutated wharf rats or something. Well, let's get, uh, you guys are going to need a sleeping spot in here. You want to be in the shade. All right, so there we go. We can put that over there. And you guys probably do need water. I didn't actually check, but I figure you probably do. And then let's beef you up a little bit with, well, some shade for a start. So how about some nice regular trees? I know you're supposed to be in a desert, but here we are. And as is very typical in one of my games, the biggest complaints my guests have is no access to toilet facilities. That I can work out very, very quickly. That is no problem whatsoever. So how about one there, one there. You know, we can just have a little bit of a line of them there. Oh yeah, you really needed that. You just jumped right in. Wasn't even finished construction. Two there, that'll work. All right. So Finks is a little more aggro than... Dave's awesome fantasy zoo may be requiring at this point. The griffin seems to be doing fine. Zombies are fantastic. If I had a zoo full of zombies, that would be totally, totally okay. And when we do kill the finxes, it's food for the zombies. And the rats, way more well mellow than I would anticipate for giant mutated wharf rats. Guys, I think that is about all we're really going to see in fantasy zoo at this point. No more animals we can add. I'm not going to put the Finx back. It's just, it's a death sentence for the goblins, the guests, everybody. I mean, they're trying to fight them off with French bread, and it's not going to work. 
So I think that is where we'll call it a day on Fantasy Zoo. Again, just a quick look at it, just a peek, hop in, hop out. Let me know what you guys think of this in the comments below. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours. And we'll see you next time. Oh, what is that? That's like a person. Oh, hang on. Da dum. Da dum. Dum 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 da dum 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 da dum. Ah, what are you doing, Amanda? What are you up to? Are you are you figuring out how cows work? Because that's the wrong end of the cow. I assure you, Amanda. Citizens drop go. Everything is under control. This is this is not a fire. This is not a fire. This is an aggressive urban redevelopment program. I have a cylinder. Broke Dave. Broke Dave. <laughs> uh, talk about yourselves on the back. <laughs> uh, I just dropped my controller. <laughs> oh my goodness.